Hello, welcome back to Founding Core Plays Factorio C Block. So, like I said in the last episode, I was going to get all this connected to where they're creating these circuit boards. So, now since we have these circuit boards, we need to create the science lab. The modules lab is what it is. And off camera uh, I need to off camera I was having actual issues with power so I'm kind of gonna do this um, needs a bunch of those so let's start off with two of them There they are. I'm gonna stick these back in here because you can't use them for for that. Just to show y'all in case you're curious. All right. So we got a modules lab. Now the you can make the other ones, the pollution cleaning and the pollution producing, but in this mod it doesn't really matter. So let's do like this. These can go right here in the center like that. We'll put it right there for a moment, like that. There. Wire reach is 13, wire reach is 50. What are mark ones of them? 30. So yeah. I was trying to find a better way to make these connect, but it's okay. Actually, I may do it like this. That looks a little bit better. So, we'll have that go like that. Hmm. I may actually space... No, because these will be combined right here. Well, I could. Robots gave me an uneven basic underground belt, just so y'all know. <sighs> Let's see, how do I want to do this? Because see, this can go right here. Then this can go right here. Because if we have another belt coming in, this is not going to work. Actually, it would need to go that way. Because we would need to do pick up here, pick up here, pick up here, pick up here. I'm going to go ahead and just tie it in. Oh, I totally forgot it needs all that too. Ooh. Shoot. Let me look at something real quick. 
Well, the green is not going to be there, but these are going to be all those. And it's literally the same stuff, so... It's saying it uses one, two, three, four, five. We're not going to do those. So five. I know what I'll do. I'll put one single in in the middle and then two combined like this on the outside. Uh, let me go ahead and put the power back on. Yes, I figured that was going to be a, be what happens. Stick that down there. This can be deleted. Alright. Come on, hurry up and run out. I wonder if these get the bonus too from research. But basically, I need... um. What are they called? The efficiency, efficiency modules. That's what I need because I was having a real power problem. And I was producing so much. Alright, is that done? Cool. Okay, there's that. So, let's go ahead and set, set it up. Go one, two. Mm, I could do a splitter right here. That'll take it, take it there. Then I can do the splitter here. All right, there's that. Oh, I just realized what the issue is. If I do this, I'm going to have to do the same thing for the opposite side. Hmm. Now, oh, didn't mean to pick you up, robot. Sorry. Thank you for the belts. Oh, man, five of them. This is going to be painful. I mean, I have one way to, I can do it. I can sit there and have it daisy chain to the other, but I don't want to do that. I think it looks ugly and tacky. Alright, scooting that out a little bit, so, well, maybe let me move some of this down, too. Give me some more room. Hmm... How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Alright. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Oh, they're filling me up with a lot. Oh yeah, that's because I needed a lot. Yes. Shoot. All right, here. Uh, you can have those. Y'all can have those. Oh, I gotta think of how I'm gonna do this. I'm 
Now, I could do this, and I hate doing it. I hate doing this. Are these all going to produce the same? This all gives the same, but what about these? These are all the same, one across the board. So it's not you get more of one over the other. Of these is what I'm for making these. These... Let me look at them. What what uses what? Copper and silver. Copper, tin, ferric chloride solution. So basically copper, tin, iron. Copper, silver, iron. Or copper and silver. I kind of want... I kind of want the main module boards. Let me see this again. Okay, so this doesn't need to go on the bus. It's just this, this, or not the bus, but in the science area for this. These three and those three. So those three and those three. So that's a total of six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, these don't need to be on that. So that's irrelevant. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I got it. Hmm. How do I want to do this so it gets in both sections? How do I do this? Um, I mean, we may just have to do one row of it, like, like this. Mm, Scoot this down. And then I would have to do... this number okay there's that then like this like this No, this will have to come right here. And then this ooh, can go right here. All right, so put that there. I'm going to have these two come on this side, so it'll be easier. Then I'll have this come in right here, and then this and this will come down here. There's that. I'll just put these back in here because I'm not not sitting here messing with it. Uh, there they are. Then I'll do this right here. Same thing. Take these, put them in there. Then obviously an underground belt will come over here. Ooh, no. Oh, no. I'll have to fix that. I'll, I'm gonna probably, I 
was thinking about rotating it. Not rotating it like you think. There. Then this will come down. this way and you'll see why here in a second um, there's that the blue connect there All right, there's... Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, it needs solder too? No freaking way. Oh, they need solder too. Oh, this is not good. I'm going to have to just pause this for a minute. I've got to look at this. This is crazy. Are they all that way? Okay, that's Mark 2's. What about Mark 3's? What if Mark 3... See, it didn't show that a second ago. Oh, wrong thing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that, it's for manufacturing them, not for researching them. Okay, okay, that had me scared for a minute. I was thinking, what? But that's for, that's for actually making them. Okay, we're good. Holy smokes, that scared me. All right, continue on. I was... I don't know what I was thinking, why I thought that. Alright, so this is going to need to go there. I know the big pole is in the way, so we'll just do that. Um, what else did it need? It needs these and it needs those. Okay, we're good. So that there and that there. This will go there. That'll go there. Okay. That should be everything. Let me double check so I don't mess it up. Do I have any of these on me? Make sure none of them are on me. I don't see any. So we should be good. So this can go there. That can go there. Because it's the module main boards and the module case. I could do the alien plant life samples, but don't need it all right so the next thing i'm going to research is efficiency module mark twos which is good all right i need to get more of these being made So let me grab a few of these. Let me grab a few of these. What am I lacking? More yellow and red. There we go. We were fine where it was at. Somewhat. <laughs> um, it's okay. I don't care if they overlap. Ooh. There we go. 
then there's that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, why do I have so much of this? But I forgot I picked it up. Because I needed to make them. The science labs. I'm only going to do four for right now. Sorry, fishy. There. And the reason why I'm even doing this is because these efficiency modules will be what I use to help help with uh, my power. So we can make Mark 1s now. So module contact. I have those. Module main boards. So we got both of those. Module case. And efficiency circuit boards. Let's make them. Make them all. I mean, I could go ahead and put a an assembling machine, but... This only uses 75 kilowatts. How much power does this use? 130. So this went from... Wait, what? 310 kilowatts. So how much is it producing now? So it went from 310 to 225. Because 25% of 310 would be 310 be 77.5 kilowatts that's pretty good why can't I make mark threes Oh, I need other stuff. That's why it requires... Oh, no, 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 no. That's for that. These needs efficiency lot... Mm -mm. So I have to make module logic boards, which is fiberglass boards. Not a problem. I've already got gold plate on the bus. That's why... It needs all this stuff. And it said polish green. What are these? Oh, it, no, it said it, it could use polish green. Yeah, so crystal shard. Crystal shard. Ooh. Yeah, that's crystal splinter. So, how do we get crystal shards? Right here. Cut green crystal shard. Cut green crystal shard comes from raw crystal shard. Raw crystal shard comes from eggshell seed and polluted artificial fish water. That's fine. Eggshell comes from puffer eggshell powder. We've already got inoculated peach or dish. That's not a problem. Milling drum and puffer eggshell remains. Which means we're going to have to do this crap, ain't we?
I have to figure out how to make that. I don't know how we're going to do these eggshells. So you're telling me the highest I can make is Mark II's? And then Mark III's requires the better versions. Okay. So that's fine. Let's just go ahead and get that. And productivity, this is consumption by 45, but productivity by plus one. Or speed module, straight up 45% more energy consumption, but it takes 25% more speed. Hmm. Let's see what else I can research. All right. So go ahead and give me the speed modules. Um, I don't need these no more. Oh, I need those. These contacts, I don't need them. Module cases, I don't need them. What else do I have? Do I have anything else related to this? I got efficiency modules. I can make Mark IIs, can I? Module contacts. Oh, that's why I needed all that stuff. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Um. Oh, I don't need the green. So it goes up by 5%. What do I need? Module contacts? So I did need those. Alright, give me the Mark IIs of the speeds. Give me this. Because I'm going to upgrade them. Alright, let's upgrade all five of them. We might as well go for Mark II's on them. I mean, why not? Because Mark I's and Mark II's are the same thing. So, the only difference is, is the circuit boards. That's it. The other three ingredients are still the same. So I could have them all run down here. Problem is if I wanted to expand it. I have an idea and I may try it. We'll see. I kind of regret even putting these down here because it seems like I'm not even going to use these for what I'm doing. But we'll see. We're going to see about it. I'm going to look into the uh, research. I'll probably do all that off camera. Are they finally done? Yes, the Mark IIs are finally done. So let's go and start placing some of these. Get our energy down a little bit. So how much are we running at? 210. So basically 100 kilowatts less. That's really good. Let's go with productivity. But I'm only going to put it in stuff that we're running a lot of, like constantly. Uh, I need to put buffers here. Uh, that sucks.
Can I make any? I can't. I should have sat there and... Alright, there's that. Trying to be very, very careful. Ah. Uh, there we go. There's the greens. This will help this stay going. This is lacking crystal seedlings. We're lacking inoculated petri dishes. Petri dish with growth medium. That's being lacked because of petri dish. Petri dish is being lacked because of glass. I don't think I tied it in. That's probably the problem right now. Um, go ahead and get Mark II's going. So let's go see what's up with the glass. I may not have even tied it all the way in yet. I know I have it on the bus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, let's actually not delete it. Let's put... This is blue, red, yellow. And then I'm going to put this in my book. We're good. How far? I can go out pretty far. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I didn't think I was going to have... Yeah, I didn't think I was going to have an issue, but I guess I did. There we go. Problem solved. It was just glass. I can't believe how how prudent and necessary uh, glass has become. Like silicon is so huge now. Like it was so good to be like, oh, you know, I have so much silicon, I don't even know what to do with it. Now it's like, holy crap, I need so much silicon, it's not even funny. Um... Do I have room for this? Yes. Because I'm going to remove that and put these back in here. Just because I don't want them being wasted. Like, there's no point in them sitting on the a belt and not be used. Is that it for this? Oh, agriculture modules. <gasps> what does this do? Productivity plus 7%? That's good. That'll be really good. Oh, but it's only only usable for agricultural processes. That still is pretty good. I actually may do that. I do want to get these. And the reason being is because, what do we have right now? A desert gives us, desert garden gives us how many? I do want to get into the garden stuff more too. No, 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 it's not. Yeah. What was it again? Did it give me... No. That's what you sacrifice. Yes, you get more chance, uh, higher chances of this, but you lose, you lose the alien plant life sample.
Yeah, because getting 16 alien plant life sample is pretty good. Well, actually, it really doesn't matter. Because I don't really need any of those. Hmm. I don't know. We'll mess with that in a bit. But I'm glad I have my little buffer boxes right here. I am going to put another one right here for, for the red, too, just to be safe. There we go. Everything's finally going to be picking back up. Still waiting for the glass to get down here. I don't see it on the belt yet. It's got a long way to travel. That's the only downside is it's got a long way to travel. Let's not worry about it too much right now. Let's let's keep trucking. Okay, so we got our circuits. What are we going to be using like running non-stop of? This is not going to run non-stop. Eh. Same thing with this. I don't mind the belt being there, but let's not waste all these for nothing. Alien bacteria, I am going to actually need that. So I'm not not hurt, uh, sad about that. I'm not going to remove that because I do need that. Um, I wonder if this is considered agricultural. It is. It is considered agriculture. Ooh, that'd be really good. Really, really, really good. Um, this, I'm going to pump at least one in for now. Pick up some of that landfill. Because, see, I already have some, some growing right here. Do I have? No, I don't have the fish on me. I wonder if these are considered agriculture. They are considered agriculture, too. Makes sense. Um, these aren't running nonstop. Trying to reduce the power. How much power does this take? 186? That would be good. To consume less power. So it went from 186 down to 126. So 60 kilowatts. And this produces how much? 24 megajoules of power. Putting them in this would be good too to reduce these. So what we'll do is we'll set up a temporary factory of making them. And I do got something really cool I'm going to show y'all that y'all can do. And it's it's so good because oh, you like you literally you know, I'm going to remove that and put a wooden box there. So As we're coming down, um, what was it called? Let me look for it. Right here, it's making pulping liquor. So you could take your sulfur dioxide gas and your oxygen ja gas and turn it into pulping liquor. And you can take your, is it that? Let me double check. Okay, so we're trying to make brown liquor. So you're going to take your pulp and liquor that you made, which, like I said, is sulfur dioxide gas and oxygen gas. You turn it into pulp and liquor. Then you take cellulose fiber and that pulping liquor and ammonia gas and water, turn it into cellulose pulp and brown liquor. All right? So cellulose pulp, um, 
with it, you can use it to make paper if you want, or sodium hypochlorite and paper, um, sodium carbonate and sulfuric wastewater. And you can also use it to do this, but you'll want to do the sodium carbonate if I remember correctly. And I'll show you why. So you'll turn it into brown liquor. Brown liquor is really what you want. So you'll use all this to turn brown liquor. You'll take that sodium hydroxide in that brown liquor, because you'll be making 75, turning it into sodium sulfate in nitric wastewater. Well, that nitric wastewater turns into sodium nitrate, mineralized water, and purified water, which is awesome. Why is that awesome, you might ask? Because that sodium nitrate turns into nitric acid, which you can use that nitric acid to make silver nitrate. You use it for the rubite crystals, and you make ammonium nitrate, which turns into rocket boosters, which is more fuel. So let's let's even go go back. So sodium sulfate, what do you use sodium sulfate for? Well, you can sit there and turn it into sodium and sulfur, or you can take it and sodium hydroxide to make white liquor. White liquor and cellulose fiber makes cellulose pulp and black liquor. Black liquor turns into green liquor, Green liquor and lime turns into, it's just an endless loop, back and forth. So you have that. But you also need it, along with the sodium carbonate, to do a better version of glass mixture. So it's going to be really good to get rid of all that stored up um, cell, uh, sulfur dioxide gas and oxygen gas. So good. It's so good because you can take the oxygen... And sulfur dioxide to make all that to make more fuel and you can take the oxygen not the oxygen the hydrogen and turn it into fuel with charcoal so but the big thing about it is this you're gonna get a lot of cellulose pulp so you're gonna need to use that cellulose pulp and turn it into stuff so sodium hypochlorite you use it in ammonia gas to make monochloramine gas and which is good because you'll turn it along with blue metal catalyst and ammonia to make hydrazine gas and hydrogen chloride gas. Hydrazine gas turns into solid fuel, which is freaking awesome. So there's so much benefits with all that stuff that we have. Extra. So science, are we done with all the basic? Yes, we're done with all them. All right, I really want to get that. I w I'm thinking like I want to figure out a process where I can keep getting those alien plant life samples. And I don't think there's much, I don't think there's many ways of being able to do that. That's crazy. And you can get more fuel from your nuts and stuff. Nuts, pips, and beans. I mean, it's a good way to do it. Here's an easy way to make in desert tree seeds. And that's just getting rid of your saline and your sand, which is not a bad way to do it at all. Um, sand and saline to make four desert tree seeds. How do we make desert tree seeds now? So we could take five soil or five soil, one fertilizer to get six tree seeds. And you could do the same thing with mud and light, light, uh, blah, blah, blah. Mud and light mud water to make four. So it's not a bad process because you can, again, make it better. Ooh, there's so much. All right, so this is what we're gonna start on. Let's let's look at this. Okay, so this is how we want to get desert gardens.
alienated fertilizer. I totally forgot how we get alien. So alien goo and fertilizer. How do we get alien goo? Alien goo comes from alien bacteria, which we have right up here. Uh, well, if I can ever get to it, there it is. Here's the alien bacteria. Now the alien bacteria is made right here, making calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. Should I? Um, let's go ahead and set up our circuits. Let's get that done. Our modules, I mean, not circuits. So what do we need to get to them? Module case, module contacts. So let's run this down. Green module main boards. What else? Efficiency is going to be the first one. Let's see, can I make them in these? I cannot. Okay, so it has to be made in either these. There are 10 seconds and 20 seconds. So let's bump it up to an assembly machine mark four because that's a crafting speed of two. So module contacts are going to be what we need the most. And we'll need four module contacts every five seconds. Because remember, our assembling machine is a Mark, mark 4, and it's a crafting speed of 2. So we're going to start off with this. Alright, so let's kind of get an idea of what we want to do. So module contacts we'll have on... Well, let's see what what this holds seven and a half, and then yellow holds fifteen. So that's what a total of fifteen items with both sides, and this needs how many of those four? So four, eight, twelve. So I can handle up to three machines on a basic transport belt. Nonetheless, it needs to be on its own belt. That, that's what I'm getting at, is it needs to be on its own belt. So, let's grab some landfill. Which one was it that needs it? Module contacts. So... So let's say we do that. All right. And it comes right here. Now this is all going to be temporary. I may end up adding something else here later on. So take it with a grain of salt. So a selling machine right here. This is our main module contacts. I'll I'll put some down here to represent it. So there's that. Then we'll have a belt come in like that. And then we'll have another belt come in like this. Oh, come on. And then this can come in like that. And then enter, enter. Then we can output here. And this can be put on the bus. Are they used for anything other than other than just the modules? 
Okay, that's it, just for the module. So we can put them on the bus, that's no big, big deal. So this setup will work, it normally does. Um, I don't need that. Now let me remove this. I wanna move this over a little bit more. There we go. All right, there's that. Nice, that looks so good. Wait, is that, that's running into that. Let's bump it up one. That's eh, okay if it overlaps. So this is gonna be the module contacts. Module contacts will be like that. Good. We ain't gotta go far for this. There. And then this needs. This will need to come down because that is the efficiency circuit boards. Just to want to show y'all. Do I want to do that or do I want to split it off? As in, I usually do like a little setup. <sighs> hmm. May just add this down to here. What makes module contacts copper and silver? Copper tin. So the green, I'm not really stressing about, but I've got to look at how it's going to be. This needs those. So if I did it, it would need to be It could be right here. And then this would come over like this, like this, like this. And then come in right there. And these are aluminum and plastic. So yeah, that would be, that'll work out better. See how that works? Like I don't need a crap ton of it. And I need to do kind of the same thing here. Like that. Because we're not needing a crap ton of it. Um, I'm going to dump all these back in here because I don't need them. So they're just taking up space. Alright, so we got that rolling. We're going to need another blue. And then what I'm gonna do is put them on the bus. Cause I really wanted to do like the blue and the yellow together, like all these together. But it's gonna be hard, there's so much to do on that. And I thought about just putting, you know, 
this right here to that. And then all I need is the circuit boards, contacts, and solder. Because this needs more module contacts than anything. See, oh man, that would have probably have been better. I think I got an idea. I can do this, but I, if I do what I'm doing, well, I don't know. I may be able to expand it. Let's let me fix this. Let me show you what I'm what I'm thinking here. All right, let me stop all this for a minute. Same with this. All right, so we're obviously gonna have this here. We're not, I mean, you have to understand we're not gonna be able to expand this. We're just not gonna be able to expand it. So we have four inputs. All right, two of them are going to go together, which will be here. I'm going to scoot it over just so it doesn't come in contact yet. So we'll have this coming in along with the module case. The module cases will be right here. Crap. Now I'm thinking I should have split these all. I got a better idea. I knew that was going to be a problem. I knew it was just going to happen. All right, so let's trash that because we're not even going to use that. Are you serious? I'm full again. Um, I don't need any of this stuff, so let's just go ahead and wrong one. We'll go ahead and put all these in there. You can have all these. This is going to help so much. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm going to have it looking good, I promise you. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Alright, let me throw these back up here. I'm, I'm sorry, I know this is kind of a pain, but this is what happens. So, let me show you what I'm thinking. Now, I'm thinking about having three belts come in here. Alright, so let me remove this. Now these are going to come down. We can we can adjust these down. That's not a problem. So my yellow is going to come in last. We can do the Oh, this is going to suck. Well, I don't know. This it, it may work out. Let me look at this. So red will come here. That's fine. Yeah, it ain't going to work. All right. So let's say... See, the blue would work out great because it could come here. Oh, uh, no, I guess it ain't going to work. Never mind. I retract my statement. 
Because, see, what I was thinking was this. Maybe I need to move down a little bit. What if I move down all the way to here? Alright, let's say I did that. Alright, yellow I wanted last. Um, red could be for right there. No, because it still it still doesn't matter. It'd still be the same outcome. Because see, this would come down here. Let's say we go there. This goes there. Now we're not able to do an underground belt from here to there. So it won't work that way. So moving it down solves nothing. Now what I could do... I mean, I don't need to throw all these belts out there like that. Now what I could do is this. And it sucks. No, nope, that still won't work. Hmm. I shouldn't have put them together so close. That's kind of my downside. I should have never done that. And everything would have been good. Oh, jeez. How long have I been recording? An hour. Well, I'm going to end the video here. I know we didn't get a whole lot accomplished. We got some science going. But when we come back, I'll show you what I've done for... Oh, we're full. What am I full on? All these. I'll show you what I've done for making this work because i'm gonna it, it's gonna work i'm gonna have to get it to work like there is no ands ifs or buts about it it's just gonna have to happen so i'll figure out a way and in the next episode you will get to see what i did to get it to work and i'll show you and what we'll do is once we get them working we will start working on I kind of want to get the pulping liquor going, but I also want to get some of the, where's it at? But I also want to get some of this working, but we'll also need to get the desert environment farm research. Uh, where's it at? Did I already... Did I already do it? Here it is. We need to get that researched. Just so we can get these being made. Why, you might ask? Because, um, I'll show you. They're a crafting speed of 2 compared to... Where's it at? Compared to a basic farm, which is a crafting speed of one. It's a lot better. So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.